Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is a solar oven. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a pizza box, a skewer, foil, tape, ruler, plastic wrap, black paper, box cutter, and a hot day, which I have as today is 104 degrees in Northern California. So we're gonna do the solar oven. To set this up, I'm gonna do two different experiments. The first one's with a pizza box, and the second one is a regular box. Um, so I'm going to outline the pizza box about an inch away from all the corners. And so you do all four of those corners like this. And then you're going to take a box cutter and cut that out. So now we have all the lines traced out. We're going to use a box cutter and be very careful. A box cutter can cut you very badly. So have adult supervision. And we're going to cut out three sides. So the front of the box that pivots up, uh, what I'm cutting right now, and the two sides, not cutting the back part of it. You just want to stop about an inch in there and then you can flip it up just like this. So you don't cut all four sides, but if you do, you could just tape it on. Anyway, so there it is, that flips up just like that. And then now we're going to take um, uh, some aluminum foil and we're going to foil the piece that we just flipped up. So go ahead and pull out a, a piece of foil and um, you lay it on the back just a little bit bigger than the uh, flipped up piece itself. You're going to fold it over and then we're going to use scotch tape uh, or any kind of tape to tape it to the top part of the box, which I'll show you in just a second. So now um, I got the top part of the piece that we cut out and now I'm just taping it so it stays on securely. It's better to have the tape on the outside than inside the oven. Uh, because of any toxic fumes that could come off the tape, which uh, shouldn't really, but this way we're more safe because um, the tape is always going to be to the outside of the oven. And so I'm going to tape that all the way so it doesn't rip off. And then once I get that done, we are set on that piece of it right here. And that's the, the part that the sun's going to see. So now we're going to make like a glass window. So we're using plastic wrap, saran wrap, and we're going to go over the top uh, of it and we're going to tape it down. You want this um, stretched out nice and tight. Now, my piece wouldn't cover the whole box. So A, I could have measured the box and just cut the piece um, if I was really smart ahead of time and had it fit this piece. But you can use two different pieces that I'm going to show you here. And so you make sure you pull that tight. And then what we're going to do is um, tape the sides and then we're going to come back and tape the bottom. And then we'll add a second piece in, in just a second. So I ended up finishing the taping up, going a little fast here, um, and then I taped all the sides, and then I'm going to add a second piece. So now I've got a second piece on there too. Now I flip it all the way upside down, and I'm going to put a second um, piece of plastic or saran wrap on the bottom part because you do not want any air getting in or out. And so uh, this will be uh, helpful. This is optional. You don't have to do this, but I find it seems it works pretty good for me, and it doesn't take that long to do. So same thing, get your saran wrap, uh, put it in. You're going to use two pieces again. Tape it all the way down, cut it out so it fits in, and I will speed it up, and we'll get to the point where I finish. So I'll put it in fast motion here, and we will um, get that piece done um, and cut it off, and then tape this piece really quick, and then I added one more piece to complete the whole thing. So now I've got my um, plastic lid over the cutout portion. Now I'm going to uh, layer the inside of the, the pizza box um, so the foil is um, covering the whole bottom of the box. So you kind of just want it to fold over to the end and then you're going to cut the aluminum foil just about halfway to the side of the box so we can tape it down again. You really don't need to tape it, um, but I find after you move it around a little bit, it, it um, is a little bit better if we tape it. So then you're gonna also have a second piece right here that you're gonna cover up the rest of it. So once we get uh, the first piece here, I am gonna cut uh, the foil, uh, or you could actually just measure it right the first time where I, I didn't measure it right the first time. And then you're just gonna tape that piece right here. Um, and you're gonna do this on the same on both sides. So I will speed it up and we'll get this done. So I'm uh, doing this side right here. I got it in fast fo forward, so it's going quick. I'm gonna um, put, I cut the piece this time as being smart and learning from my mistakes the first time. Uh, cut it in so it fit in just right. I don't use any tape on the inside, but I'm going to tape the outsides of them uh, so it holds down. Then you're gonna cut out a piece of black paper, put it on the bottom of the pan. Then I just took a regular pie pin, uh, tin 
and put my s'mores. Now the recipe is a little bit different here. You're, instead of putting um, the chocolate, uh, the, the graham cracker chocolate, the marshmallow, uh, when you use a solar oven, I find it better if you use the graham cracker marshmallow chocolate um, because the marshmallow, um, you need to cook um, a little longer. So it works better this way, but you can try it both ways. Then you're just gonna close the, the pizza box. And if you feel like it's not closing all the way, you can tape the sides on temporarily. Like you can see, mine's not really holding there. So I'm gonna end up taping those sides down. And then uh, now I've got those sides taped. You take your skewer and you put it in. There's little holes on the side of the pizza box. Prop it up against the, um, uh, the little lid we have there. And we're gonna tape that in once we get into the sun. You want it to angle the exact angle so you can see there's enough reflection coming down. So therefore, uh, hence the name is solar oven, the, the piece standing up is going to reflect down into the tray and the heat is going to um, come up and, and uh, cook your uh, s'mores. I did a second box here. This box is a little deeper. It's just a regular box. It could be any size. All I did was uh, line it all with foil and then I put a little corner edges around uh, so it kind of goes all the way around. That's optional. Tape down all the outside of the foil, no tape on the inside, and then I put black on the bottom, and then a pie pan um, I tipped upside down. I also put a thermometer in there so we could see the temperature this time, and then I covered it completely with, with saran wrap and taped it so it's completely sealed in. And I believe this is going to cook a lot faster because it has more area of, of aluminum. So I've got two different uh, solar ovens going at the same time. Um, we started off at zero. It's already at over 150 degrees inside that box. So we'll see where it gets to. So while I'm waiting for my snack to be done, I'm going to explain uh, the science behind this. So the solar cooking is done by the means of the sun's UV rays. It is not the sun's heat that cooks the food, nor is the outside... Uh, temperature, though this can somewhat affect the rate of the uh, time required to cook, as today being very hot, but rather it's the sun's rays that are converted into heat energy that cooks the s'mores or other food. So the heat of the sun is trapped inside the box or the pizza box and it starts getting very hot. Ovens like this are also called collector boxes because they collect the sunshine inside. As it sits out in the sun, our oven eventually heat up enough to melt cheese or, or even cook a hot dog or like s'mores like we're doing. How does this all happen? Well, the rays of the light are coming to the earth on an angle. The foil reflects those rays and bounces them directly into the open box. Once it's gone through the plastic wrap, it heats up the air that is trapped inside. Remember, we sealed the plastic uh, saran wrap. The black paper absorbs the heat in the bottom of the oven. So solar ovens can reach up to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which today we got up to 225 on a sunny day. And it can take a lot longer to heat things in a conventional oven. Although this method will take longer, it is very useful um, and easy. And it is safe to leave alone while your energy from the sun cooks your food. This is a s'more from the pizza box oven, uh, solar oven. And you can see the marshmallow is very gooey and the chocolate is extremely melted. And then I will show you the other box. All right, so here we are. We're going to open up the container. Um, it's a little warm, about 225 degrees. We're going to pull out our s'more. Oh, it's coming everywhere. Uh, Leave it there, it's a little over an hour. <laughs> it's delicious. Master Solar Oven. Thanks for watching. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe.